Hello guys, it's me again, Paul P. And I'm back with a big camera. I'm currently at China. It's actually spelled China so with a C-H-A-N-I-A. -A, but it's pronounced Haina. Okay, this is a, a small town in the island of Crete. And believe it or not, this is famous for Rakim. Rakim is a distilled liqueur that is quite strong. According to Anthony Bourdain, it is uh, like rocket fuel. So I'm not drinking that. But they have an old Venetian port here. And I believe when there's a port, they have seafood. So I'll be grabbing some seafood dishes if I can find some. If not, I will just grab whatever local food they have because we are only here at this port for five hours. So, tara. Let's go on the food trip. Okay guys, I made it to the old Venetian port. Technically, this is an island of Crete. It's Greek. Okay? But it used to be owned by the Venetians. Thus, we have a Venetian port. Okay? Since, the Ven since Venice was actually the hub of all Mediterranean trade, even the Silk Road. This is one of their ports that they actually conquered and eventually developed. Okay, now take a look here. Some of the Turkish influence of architecture right here. And that huge lighthouse at the end. I wanted to go there, but it's too far of a walk. So I will be taking a look around with the 360 camera. Then eventually I'll find a place to 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 dine in and feature okay so tara kain tayo okay guys uh, i found a restaurant it's the only one here in the dock that has um we call the seats that have no armrest so it's called cafe muses and i ordered two dishes since i'm also in a hurry because i have to be back on the ship by 11 o'clock. I ordered um, grilled swordfish and grilled shrimp. Technically this is a seafood town and I'm going to look forward to having some seafood indulgence here. Okay? So let's wait for our orders. See ya. Okay guys, uh, I only ordered two dishes. Basically I got um, one fish, one seafood oh well crustacean so here's what I got this is the grilled marlin and the grilled shrimp I heard that shrimp here is heavenly so I will give them both a try okay so we'll start off with the fish yeah. okay guys um my food has arrived here's my swordfish We'll give this one a try. Let's we'll start with the fry first. Like that. Long, crispy. Crunchy on the outside, fluffy in the middle. <coughs> really, really freshly fried. <coughs> Sorry. Now let's try some of this, this gorgeous, gorgeous marlin filet. Oh, marlin steak. Look at that. Meat is nice and white. Oh, they grilled it and wiped it with olive oil. There, the Greek olive oil is a bit spicy, but it has a nice rounded off flavor. So give this one a big bite. It's not fishy at all. You can really taste the freshness of that fish. And it has a certain uh, overall mouthfeel that's really good. This one we'll try with a bit of lemon to bring out more of its flavor. Mm. 
Oh my god. That's one of the best Marlin dishes I've had. It's so fresh. I believe it was swimming in the ocean like a few minutes ago. Look at that. You know what? We'll take a bite of this. And then we'll chase it with one, with one of the french fries. Mm. Awesomely good. Really. Now, let's move on to our second dish. Which is the... Man, their plates are heavy here. This is the grilled shrimp. One is missing because my uh, my uncle passed by. Goes, oh, can I have one? Sure. Okay, we'll start with this big one. Mediterranean shrimp are said to be sweeter than Pacific shrimp, like what I'm used to in the Philippines. But this one looks plain, by it's just grilled. And it's perfectly cooked. Look how easy it is to peel. Look at that. We'll try one without any without anything just the shrimp itself then we'll take another one with some lemon see the fattiness inside the roll for me one of the best ways to serve shrimp is actually grilling it because it actually concentrates the flavor more And it has a certain um, umptuousness when it's grilled. It adds a bit of smoky flavor while, while what do you call this? While keeping its texture. Okay, now this part is the head fat. Let me zoom that in. Focus, focus. Then we try it. Mm. Heavenly. Really fatty. Really, really, oh, it's so fresh. Can't describe it. So we'll take this last bite with just shrimp and some lemon. Give me a sec. See, this is where learning how to eat shrimps with knife and fork comes in handy. Only undressing was this easy. Okay. Try a bit of lemon. Okay. That. Mm. The lemon actually accents the flavor of the shrimp, thus making it super super tasty. Okay. So. Sad to say I have to finish the video here because I have to leave for the port soon and leave for another town or need leave for another port. I believe we're tomorrow we're going to Malta. Okay, so thank you for watching the vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on twi on Instagram at Paul Always Gotom Never Busog. On Twitter at Paul Always Gotom and on Facebook at Always Gotom Never Busog. So, till next vlog, see you in the dining room. Taraka and Tayo.